Photodynamic therapy um, is a treatment that uses light, mainly visible light, um, and a drug called a photosensitizer. And when this photosensitizer is illuminated, um, uh, the light energy is transferred to the surrounding tissue, and that can lead to the destruction of cells and tissues and can be used to treat cancers. In our institute, we use it mainly for head and neck cancer. Uh, we use it for difficult to treat early stage cancers and also for some advanced cancers of the head and neck area where no other treatment can be applied. She's going to be uh, um, representing a patient with a floor of mouth tumor, That's, that means under the tongue, and it's an early stage tumor. Uh, first thing we do is we measure the, the tumor to identify how much photosensitizer is in it. This is a probe with fiber optic cables inside and it's connected to a spectroscope which delivers light and then recollects it to identify from fluorescence how much photosensitizer is in the tumor. One of the problems of PDT is that, is that um, different patients respond differently um, um, and they have different amounts of drug within tumor and normal tissue. And um, so the present project was to try and use optical techniques to measure how much of the drug was in the tissue and try and relate that to the treatment outcome. So in this case, we're assuming that there's a tumor here and we touch it very lightly. And this is collected by the spectroscope, which can be analyzed to reveal how much photosensitizer is in the tumor. After we make the fluorescence measurement, uh, we apply this uh, black protection wax in the mouth to protect the normal tissues because the normal tissues are also light sensitive and we don't want uh, to uh, damage these tissues. And then we apply the light to the target. We discovered that making a quantitative measurement of the drug concentration within tumor tissue can be related to uh, treatment failures. And afterwards we can remove the, the shielding. And then we measure again. The probe, please. So what we're aiming to measure is a difference in fluorescence. The on. Once the photosensitizer is broken down by light, the fluorescence in the tissue should decrease. When we analyze the, the values we measure before the treatment and after the treatment, this gives us a quantitative value of how much of the photosensitizer is broken down. And this relates directly to the effectivity of, uh, of photodynamic therapy. So at the bottom of the screen, um, you can see a spectrum of light um, that is uh, collected from the tissue. And from this, uh, from this measurement, we can, we can measure the tissue optical properties. And we can use that to correct the uh, fluorescent light that we collect from the photosensitizer. And by combining these two types of measurements, we can come up with a quantitative measurement of uh, the amount of drug within the patient. We are already using it in, uh, in our patients, but uh, unfortunately, we get the results after the treatment. As the method becomes more streamlined and uh, we get quicker results, we would be able to modify the treatment and uh, prevent the patterns of failure that we have identified. And this would be in the very near future.